Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to Mama's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share my recipe for Kuli Kuli. Kuli Kuli is an African snack made from roasted peanuts. Today I'm going to be baking my Kuli Kuli because um, I don't want to deal with the oil. I mean, I don't want to, I'm trying to avoid a lot of oil in my diet. So I'm going to be baking it. But you can also fry your kuli kuli if you want to. But one thing you have to be careful with when frying your kuli kuli is that you have to make sure that you have extracted all the oil. You will see as I go on in the video, you see how, it's, how I'm going to take out the oil from the peanuts. So make sure your oil is fully extracted or your kuli kuli will melt in the frying in the in the oil when you're frying it so for this recipe i'm going to use my peanut butter i have that jar of peanut butter there i'm going to use some ginger roots fresh ginger roots right there in the bowl i am going to be using grind red pepper it's right there in the bowl it depends on your taste you you can add both of them or you can just add one it all depends but i like to always have ginger and pepper in my kuli kuli so i'm also going to use um grind ginger powder i am going to use habanero pepper no cube and onion so if you're ready let's get in the kitchen and make this happen so now i have the peanut butter in the bowl and i've just added a spoon of ginger powder And then now I'm adding my half spoon of red ground pepper. Remember, it all depends on your taste. And once you're done with this, I add my no cube. Remember, you can add any seasoning of your choice, but please no salt because there's salt already in the peanut butter. And right after this, it's time to grind your fresh ingredients. I mean the onion. The habanero, the onion, the habanero pepper, and ginger. And when you're blending this, you have to blend it with hot water because the hot water will help you to extract all the oil from the peanut butter. It will make it easier for you. Right after that, you sieve it in. Just use a sieve and sieve the water into your peanut butter. And you use your hands to mix everything very well. You mix it and mix it and make sure everything is mixed. And then after mixing it to this paste, you add a little bit of hot water. And when you do that, it's going to change to this clay-like texture. Once you're done with this, the next thing is to put your peanut butter paste in a clean napkin. Here you can see I'm using my kitchen napkin. Your napkin has to be clean. You put it in a clean napkin and what I'm doing here is to is extracting the oil, taking out the oil. So I'm transferring the oil from the peanut butter into the napkin. If you have any mechanical device that you can use, um, you can use it. But if you don't have any, you just have to use your muscles here. You know, use the, all your strength to squeeze out the oil. Whichever way you want to do it, it all depends on you. It's your thing. Do it the way you want to. So make sure you extract it. You can see that my napkin is now soaked with oil. And when I finished, I still had to put it through uh, my kitchen paper, paper napkin, you know, because I really want the oil. You need the oil to go out. You can't afford to leave oil in the peanut or your kuli kuli is going to be messed up. So try as much as you can to extract every bit of oil from your peanut. And that's why I said for beginners, you, it's better you use uh, roasted peanut because Roasted peanut has less oil. Okay, after extracting the oil, your peanut butter should look like this. It's going to be dry and hard. Not too hard, but at least you'll notice that there's no oil in it. 
and all you have to do is just put it back in a clean bowl add some little hot water add some hot water and you mix it back and uh, make it back into um, a clay like texture once this is done you're almost there you just try to mold your kulikuri to any shape you want you can make it circle you can ring it you can do any shape just any shape and once you're done with your kulikuli in the tray you place it in the oven i did mine in my oven the oven was my oven was at 300 degrees and i i i baked it for like 45 minutes so you place it in the oven and please do not just abandon it in the oven always try to open it every five to ten minutes to check on it and to turn it around if you don't want it burnt you just keep going in and checking it As you can see i'm turning it around here that's all you need to do make sure you turn it around don't just leave it and walk away or if you will have burnt kuli kuli which will not serve any purpose so make sure you watch it and you turn it intervally and once you're done here is your kuli kuli delicious and ready to be eaten like i told you that in the beginning you can use kuli kuli to drink gari you can use it to eat um you can eat it by itself and you can even use it to eat fray depends on you Thank you so much for watching today. I truly appreciate you. Have a good evening and see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.